In this video we're going to look at multiplying decimal numbers. So to multiply decimal numbers, for instance 1.4 multiplied by 2.3, what you do is you first of all ignore the decimal points, you multiply those numbers, and then you put the decimal point back in. Let me show you how that's done. So first step is ignore the decimal points. So we would have 14 times 23. The method I recommend for you to uh, multiply these two numbers together is the grid method. Watch the video on multiplication if you want to see you know, a bit of a reminder how to do that now. So we're going to times them together. So 14, 10, and 4, 23, 20, and 3. 2 times 1 is 2. Add on the two zeros. 2 times 4 is 8. Add on the 0. 1 times 3 is 3. Add on the 0. And 3 times 4 is 12. So we've got 200. 80, 30, and 12. We're going to add those together. We do that. We get 2. 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 1 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So we get 322. So 14 times 23 is 322. Now, we've multiplied the numbers together. Now we have to go back to the original question. The original question was 1.4 times 2.3. So to find where the decimal point goes in the answer, what you have to do is figure out how many digits are after the decimal point in the question. So here's one digit after a decimal point, and here's another digit after a decimal point. So in the question, two digits are after the decimal point. That means in the answer, two digits need to be after the decimal point. So whenever I could consider my two, 322, I need to put the decimal point in here so that two digits are after it. So I'd have to put the decimal point here so that it would be 3.22. You'd have two digits after the decimal point. And that means that the answer to the multiplication is 3.22. Let's look at another example now. Okay, we're going to look at uh, 12 multiplied by 2.2. So remember again, you ignore the decimal point, so we would get 12 times 22. Use the grid method. 10 and 2, 20 and 2. Uh, 2 times 1 is 2, add on the two zeros. 2 times 2 is 4, add on the 0. 1 times 2 is 2, add on 0. And 2 times 2 is 4. So we've got 240, 20, and 4. When we add those together, we get 4, um, 6, 2. So 246. Sorry, 264. So 12 times 22 is 264. Now we need to put the decimal point back in. Let's uh, count how many digits are after the decimal places in the question. Well, in the question, there's only one digit after the decimal point. That means in the answer, only one digit will be after the decimal point. So it would be there, 26.4. Okay, we're going to look at 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.5. So again, ignore the decimal points. So you get 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So our answer has got something to do with 20. Now let's look at the question. In the question we had one, two digits after the decimal play, uh, points. That means in the answer two digits need to be after the decimal point. Well here we've got our two digits, but we'll put our decimal point in front, and that would be 0 0.20. And if you notice, we've got two digits after the decimal point. So 0 0.4 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.20. Now, Remember, if you get zeros on the end of a decimal number, you can just get rid of those. So that would can just be considered as 0 0.2. Okay? So 0 0.4 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.2. Okay, so we're now going to look at 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.05. So to do this, you just use the same two steps we used in the previous example. You ignore the decimal point. You multiply the numbers, and then you put the decimal point back in. I suppose that's three stages. So, uh, ignore the decimal points. So if you ignore this decimal point, you'd have 0, 3. Well, 0, 3 is just 3. And if you ignore the decimal point here, you'd have 0, 0, 5. Well, that would just be 5. So you have 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So we've done our multiplication. We've got uh, 15 for whenever we multiply the two numbers. Now, we have to put the decimal point in. Remember, you have to count how many digits are after the decimal place in the question. So here's one digit after the decimal place, and this one's got two digits after the decimal place. So in the question, there's three digits after the decimal place. That means in the answer, you have to have three digits after the decimal place. Now, if I put my 15 here, well, if I wanted to put a decimal point so it was three digits after it, I'd put the decimal place here, and I'd have to put a zero there and a zero there to get 0 0.015. That means that we've got one, two, three digits after the decimal place. 
So 0 0.3 times 0 0.05 would be 0 0.015.